Android Auto is Google's way of allowing you to interact with your phone while driving. It is a little more complicated to set up, so in this video we're going to be showing you how to set that up. We'll also take you on tour of its interface. For this video we are going to be using new 2017 Buick Regal and its IntelliLink system. However, the process should be fairly similar for whichever vehicle you are driving. To get started, we do need to download the Android Auto app from the Google Play Store. We'll have that link down in the description below so you can quickly access that. Once it's downloaded, you need to go ahead and make sure your car is on. The motor doesn't have to be running, but the car does need to be in park and the systems have to be on. Then we want to plug in a USB cable into the USB port and then that cable into our phone and then open up the Android Auto app. You can go ahead and agree to all the terms and conditions and then we will finally be in the interface of Android Auto on our phone and now we can hop back over to the car. It may open automatically depending on which car you drive, but with this Buick, you do need to open the menu and go into the mirroring section, and from there you will see Android Auto. On the home page, we have a couple of Google Now cards, so depending on where you're going or where you may have been, it will give you times to a certain location, and you can also quickly access maps from there. And then it may also give you weather based on your current location. Starting on the far left, we have Google Maps. We can go ahead and see where we are currently located and move around the map. We can also enter in a location using the physical keyboard or dictate it. On the left side, we have our menu and we can access stuff like recent places, different categories, and we can also enable or disable the traffic view so you can know if your route is gonna be crowded. To the right of that, we have our phone, so we can view recent calls and quickly make a call from our phone. We can also get the dialer, view voicemail, call history, and see missed ones. We have our home button in the middle, and then next to that, we have our music. So it depends on which app you have installed on your device that support Android Auto, but right now I have Google Play Music and iHeartRadio, so you can pick from that list. And we can also tap the music button again to pick a different app. And then finally on the far right, we do have an option to take us back to the IntelliLink system and leave Android Auto. But there you have it. That was how you set up and use Android Auto. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is Mark with Apple Tech Windowate, and have a great day.